I've uh, three key messages that I, I would really like to make in terms of uh, developing future ready uh, researchers. So I think the first thing is uh, we do need to start having a conversation with researchers early about their career options. Um, somebody at our expert consultation today mentioned that we should have it before they even begin start to think about PhD studies so that they have a realistic view of what their options are for when they finish up their PhD. But I think we also need to continue that support throughout their PhD studies. Um, and that support, I think, has to come from their supervisors, but it also has to come from their higher education institutions as a whole um, through their doctoral studies panel. They also need access to careers advisory services, I think, um, with people who really understand the difference between undergraduate students and research students and the different skills that they have and the different kind of uh, sectors that they can target. I do also think that we probably need to have more involvement of industry, non-profits, etc. in the formation of doctoral candidates. So that's, as I said, involvement in supervisory committees, offering placements, and also in curriculum design. Um, we're, we're at the point now where we've moved away from a PhD being a sort of a four or five year program of independent research to actually having a significant structured component with modules and uh, ECTS credits that you need to get. And I think we really should have those organizations from outside the academic sphere involved in the design of those courses so that we can ensure that the skills that researchers are developing match with, I suppose, the long-term things that that industry needs. There'll always be fads and trends and new things that will come up, you know, the whole area of AI, robotics, etc. is moving so fast, it would be difficult to incorporate those kind of things in a realistic way into pedagogical programs. But I do think we, we should think about those long-term things like presentation skills, media skills, uh, communication skills, negotiation skills that research learn. Uh, and finally, I really like the idea that was brought up today at the discussion about these sort of PhD skills profiles, but it's not enough just to make those available to researchers, you also need to basically support them in using them. And you need to train their supervisors in how to use them as well, so that um, the researchers don't just get it and go, oh, this is something I have to fill out once a year to take a box for my PhD program to be able to pass on to next year. And the supervisor, again, just doesn't see it as a box ticking exercise, but recognizes it as a valuable skills portfolio that will help them to understand what they bring and what their differences are when they go out into the labor market.